Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cryo, coming from Z-Man Games and designers Tom Jolly and Luke Laurie. They were the designers of a, another game that I'm quite find of, fond of, which is Manhattan Project Energy Empire. So intrigued about this one. Two to four players in about an hour to an hour and a half. Tensions mount aboard your colony ship. An anonymous act of sabotage goes awry and the ship plummets to a frozen, uncharted planet. In this innovative worker placement game, choose your actions carefully with your limited time and resources. So, a nice looking art style to my eye anyway. Let's see what the components inside the box look like. Here is our rule book with an overview. Our table of contents, well, not table of contents, our component contents would be a more accurate term. Here's our illustrated setup guide. Looks like there's a fair amount to set up, some key concepts of the game. And then playing the game. Players take turns in clockwise order, starting with the first player. During each of your turns, you're gonna either deploy a drone to the board or recall your drones to your platform. Whether you do either deploying or recall, you can also scrap once per turn to gain materials or other benefits. So it's a sounds like a worker placement game and, and there are others that have this kind of mechanic where you can either place a worker or recall all of your workers. And it looks like that's basically the, the gist of it. There's obviously gonna be a lot more with the actions you can take on the different spots. The game ends at, uh, at the end of any turn, which the following happens, that the player resolves the sunset token or has all of their crew pods in caverns or just uh, destroy it and some scoring and different card details and card effects. So um, along with a reference as well, the actual rule set doesn't seem all that complicated. Perhaps it's all in the actual interplay of the mechanisms, but the doesn't look like it would be terribly tough to teach or learn, at least just based off a cursory glance at the rule book. I'm unwrapping the board here so we can get a good look at that. This looks to be a relatively large board. It is. It's a six-fold board. Uh, right. So my guess is I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit to see if we can get most, if not all, of this on camera. So let me zoom out a little bit here. There we go. All right. So see quite a bit going on on the board, different spots. It looks like a whole different track down here at the bottom. All right, so that's our six-fold board. We've got other cardboard components here, so let me kind of just show these. I'm not going to obviously punch all of these out, but I'll punch at least one piece out so we can get a sense of the thickness here. All right, so here's one of our cardboard boards. These look to be double-sided. Okay. And these look like they go on the bottom part of the board. So fine quality cardboard. I mean, I think I would call it standard. I wouldn't say it's thick, but I certainly wouldn't say it's thin either. Very colorful graphics in this game. We've got some plastic pieces as well. Looks like our, maybe our ships in the different player, or maybe our drones. Yeah, those certainly appear to be drones in the different player colors. Okay, so you can... See, we've got a bag of those. I'm not sure what these represent, but we have a number of these plastic pieces in the different player colors. Those are really nice quality, hefty plastic pieces. And then we've got some very intriguing, to my eye anyway, intriguing cubes. They're kind of swirly and some of them are iridescent and some of them are sparkly, but look at these cubes. I like those. I don't know if they have any actual function or purpose or if they just are there to look cool, but either way, I do enjoy their aesthetic. We've got some little pegs here, it looks like, that are going to be placed into these player boards. So just some plastic pegs. You can kind of see there, and it looks like it's going to slot into that por portion of the board would be my guess. We've got a score sheet, double-sided score sheet. Some cards we'll look at here in a moment. And it looks like we've got some recessed 
player boards, which anybody who knows me knows that that's a phrase that I certainly like saying because I do like recessed player boards. All right, so you can kind of see here in the different player colors, areas to put your drones, to put cubes, to put the peg, which is I'm assuming some type of track, areas that you can cut out here to place cards. All right, and speaking of cards, maybe we'll take a look at this deck of cards and see what that shows us. We've got some player aid cards here for sure. Oops, only single-sided, I guess. Well, no, we've got two different kinds. So card limits and player turn. Oh, no, these are for in, in the player colors, Mike. There you go. Two cards per player. And we've got imaging and supercharge. These look like maybe upgrades would be just a guess. Wake up protocol, advance warning, prototype. All right, well, I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what you'll find inside the box of Cryo. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.